Hello guys and welcome to another calculus video. In this video we're going to be evaluating this nice simple integral we have right here. It's going to be a really fun one with lots of cool little substitutions and lots of great integration. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the integral. So the first thing we notice here is that we're probably going to have to use King's property right here because this is just ripe for some nice little substitutions. So the first step that we're going to do here is just um, use King's property, which basically just means u equals pi over 2 minus x. And we're going to end up with the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of u over 1 plus square root. Now we're going to end up with sine of 2 of uh, pi minus 2u. But sine of pi minus x is just sine of x, so we're just going to end up with sine of 2u. Du. Now I'm going to go ahead and just rename this all back to x, and then we're going to add it to our original integral. So cosine x, sine of 2x, dx, these are both equal to our integral i. So if we solve for 2i, we're going to get the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine x plus cosine x all over 1 plus square root sine 2x squared dx. And now we're going to use an incredibly powerful identity that I've used in videos in the past, which is that sine of x plus cosine of x equals square root 2 times sine of x plus pi over 4. And the reason we're going to do that here is that means we can combine this top right here. So we're going to get, just replace this right here, and then we're going to shift our integral over a little bit so that this is just sine of x. So let's go ahead and do that. Once we shift it over, or actually we need the square root 2 right here, and I'm just going to combine these two, and we're going to be dividing by square root 2. All right. Now I'm going to just shift it over, so we're going to get i equals 1 over square root 2 integral from pi over 4, I believe, to pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 4, sorry, of sine of x over 1 plus square root sine of 2x minus pi over 2. Now it's relatively easy to see just by looking at the graph that sine of x minus pi over 2 equals negative cosine x. So actually, yeah, so um, I'm going to get negative cosine x here, minus cosine 2x. And we just rather have a positive cosine 2x. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute, um, I guess, I guess we should have shifted it the other way. So we're going to substitute u equals pi over 2 minus x. Is that going to help us out? Yeah, let's try u equals pi over 2 minus x. So we're going to get that i equals 1 over square root 2. Our bounds are going to change to pi over negative pi over 4 to positive pi over 4. And then we're going to get cosine x on the top. And on the bottom, we're going to get 1 plus square root. Then cosine of 2, um, we're going to get pi minus x. So cosine of pi minus x is the same as cosine x minus pi, which is negative cosine x. So we're going to end up with cosine of 2x on the bottom, which is exactly what we wanted, dx. Now we're going to rewrite cosine of 2x as 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. So i equals 1 over square root 2 to grow from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4 cosine x over 1 plus square root 1 minus 2 sine squared of x squared dx. And now all we have to do is some simple straightforward substitution. So we want to sub u equals sine of x because we have this nice cosine x on the top but I'm actually going to put a square root right here, square root 2, and then this will just become uh, 1 half. 
And the reason we're going to do this is that now we can substitute u equals square root 2 sine of x. And I'm going to go ahead and put the result to that on the next slide. So once we substituted u equals square root 2 sine of x, the differential on the top is just going to disappear. And so we're just going to get du all over 1 plus square root 1 minus u squared squared. And we have this nice u squared because we had that 2 sine squared uh, of x. Now we're going to go ahead and substitute everything back into sine of x, which seems a little bit counterintuitive. But now that this is all nice and easy to deal with, we are able to substitute back. So uh, now we're going to substitute u equals sine of theta. Now this is not just undoing the substitution that we just made because that was u equals um, square root 2 sine of x. So if we were to solve for x in terms of theta, we'd have some inverse sine of square root 2 sine theta, something like that. So we're going to get integral from one uh, of one half times the integral from negative pi over two to pi over two rather than pi over four to pi over four of um, cosine theta d theta over one plus cosine theta squared. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put a little, um, we're going to fix this over here. We're going to divide by 2 on the inside right here. And we're also going to divide by 4 overall. And that's going to end up being the same value. So we're going to have 1 eighth right here. And this right here is just an expression for cosine squared of theta over 2. So, and on the top here, we're going to use um, 2 cosine squared of theta over 2 minus 1. So we're going to get i equals 1 eighth integral from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 of 2 cosine squared of theta over 2 minus 1 over cosine to the fourth of theta over 2. All right. Now we're just going to sub, um, I guess we'll do u equals theta over 2 or theta equals 2u d theta equals 2 du. So we're going to get i, uh, let's clear some space here, i equals 1 fourth integral from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4 of 2 secant squared of u minus secant to the fourth of u du. Now everything here has secant squared theta, so we're just going to substitute v equals secant or equals uh, sorry tangent of u, and that means that dv equals secant squared theta d theta, or I guess we're using u now, so that would be u du. So i equals one fourth integral from negative one to one of two minus and then secant squared is going to just be um, v squared plus 1. All right. And this is all dv. So we're going to end up with 1 fourth times the integral from negative 1 to 1 of 1 minus v squared. And this integral, once we evaluate it, is just going to be 1 fourth times 2 minus, I guess this is going to be 2 thirds. So that's going to be um, 4 thirds divided by 4, which is just 1 third. So that's a pretty nice integral. I hope you guys enjoyed all the tricky little substitutions and identities that we had to use, and you enjoyed the integration. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.